My name is Badiri Haya Rashid. Today, I want to invite you again to a new lesson, which it is a calculations of distance from the object to the nearest road. So, uh, in order to start this, we should be able to have a two layer, which it is administrative layer and also a road shape file. So, we are going to search it to have with it in our in our working sheet so we are navigate to take a road shape file we are open this and we add okay, after adding i think do you see here okay do you have a road shape files which are found in Tanzania so we are going to add the Tanzania administrative boundary which can fit to this road shape file so we are navigate again to find the administrative boundary shape file so we are going here Take this one. We are going to take administrative boundary shift one shift five. We open this and we load it or we add it to the worksheet panel. Okay, I think do you see here? This is a Tanzania administrative boundary. So, okay. Uh, these are the road shift five which are surrounded. From the region which are found in Tanzania and also okay in order to have a to have a calculations of distance from a object which are near to the road we should need to have a specific region we are going to deal with I mean we should need to have a study areas so in order to have a study area we are going to attribute table and we select one region which we can base with it. So let us select it, the Dar es Salaam region and you click this one, zoom up to the selected row and minimize. I think Dar es Salaam it is a selected region we are going to deal with. It is already being selected as you see here. So we are going to this administrative so as to export the selected region. We are right click and export save selected feature as okay. You can select any name you want, but in our case, we just write a area of interest. This is our area of interest. We are going to deal with it. Just a click, okay. I think the color it is changes, it means that it is already it is already exported. So we untick. Okay, no, we untick Tanzania administrative one. We are remain with the selected boundary. So we can remove this one to remain with our area of study. I think within this region of interest, we have uh, a lot of road here, but uh, it is spread outside to the boundary. So we want to clip this so as we can remain uh, with a road within this boundary. So we are going to road and okay simple way in order to clip this just go to the process go to toolbox after that in this searching area just search clip clip okay we have uh, recently used we have a clip click this one after click this which input layer we are going to clip it is road just take a road into to input layer and in uh, overlay layer it is area of area of interest so just take area of it, uh, area of interest into to the overlay layer here after doing that just run after run this close so the road it is already clipped as you see in this panel so you're going to untick the road and you remove this one so as to, to reduce it in number of layer here 
we are remain with our clipped rod as you see here there is no other spread or rod across this boundary it will remain within this uh, area of interest so we are going to rename our layer as a rod as rod okay so in order to have <coughs> To have a point so as we can term it as a UD, ATM bank, or school, or anything you want, you should be able to have a random point across this boundary. So, before proceed each and everything, we want to reproject our CRS coordinate reference system of this area. So, as each and everything we proceed with it, it can be in a right position or right coordinate. So we want to reproject these two layer and it, our project. Our project now, it is it's CRS, it is just go to the bottom of your right hand side here. This uh, EPSG, uh, it's, it will be as a 4326. This is the uh, CRS of the world, but we want to have the CRS of this place so we are starting to project with our road and then area of interest and then this whole project so we are starting with our our road just going to vector click a vector go directly to data management tool clicking here go to reproject a layer okay the reprojected layer it is a road uh, our CRS now we are going to select uh, 37 south this one okay and if, okay then run our road it is already projected as you see here reprojected so we are going to another layer which it is area of interest we want to reproject this one so click this and also just go to uh, to vector data management tool and go to project layer which layer we are going to reproject it is area of interest Take this one into to input layer and also just change your CRS. This one and click OK, then run. OK. Our two layer is already projected, so we want to untick this one and this one. In order to reduce concentrations, uh, uh, concussions of this one, we should be able to remove this untick layer, which is the area of interest. And and what and the road okay it even these two layers is projected so we want to rename again okay we are starting with a uh, road just to write your uh, road and also we are coming to our area of interest so right click rename the layer as area of interest okay we have this one but we are going to another things to learn to project with is our uh, our project in general. So just go to the right bottom of your project, click this coordinate reference reference system, and also just change to UTM zone thirty seven solve. Just clicking apply and okay. Our project it is already projected as you see here the coordinate reference system of this project it is already changed up to this so we are proceeding okay in order to have random point around with this boundary and we can turn it as a built atm bank or anything you want with it is a, in points form we are going to processing toolbox we want to search a random point just write random Point. <clears throat> but our random point we have series of random point random point along line random point in extent but our, we are going to direct it to random point in a polygon click this one after clicking we are coming this platform our input polygon layer it is area of interest number of point for each feature okay you can select yourself how many number of points you want to have in your polygon but we just select a few numbers okay uh, uh, 
number of points for each feature you can uh, you can have 100 and the distance between one point to another we should select it okay sorry you can select it here uh, 500 it is enough 500 meter so 500 from one point to another okay then click run okay i think uh, do you see the number of four points it is displayed in our polygon as you see here so you can term it as a built maybe bank hospital school anything you want to put it in the term of points so you can select it as a buildings so after after that we are going to have a distance maybe from this point up to this road this is the nearest road we want to calculate the distance from this point up to this road so in order to have this distance calculations we should be able to have one plugin which it is a uh, nn join so if we don't have this plugin just go to plugin manage and install plugin okay wait in a few moments so yeah like this one but i hope i hope i have this but if you don't have just search here and then uh, join okay i have this if you don't have it will display here and click and install but i have this one so i'm just i can close and it proceed okay i'm not get up to oh, vector and then join click this one go directly here okay uh, random point in polygon so before i can i can rename my point this one as i can say buildings buildings okay and then i can proceed i can proceed and enjoy here okay ah uh, inputly input vector layer it is buildings here we are doing buildings building buildings but here we are going to join buildings with a rod okay and here buildings rod here we can proceed to type with a uh, distance with distance and uh, click okay we are just waiting for completion of this searching okay then close a building road with a distance it already it already displayed in this panel it is in this layer panel so you can you can remove a building to remain with building road with a distance so you remove this layer okay i think do you see these are points with a road but we want to name each point so as to see the distance and uh, uh, the distance from one point to the nearest road so we are going to name this one so we are going uh, just uh, double click this one and then after just go to label go to single label but here we don't deal with uh, this type of name there may be uh, what it's a random point id name name not but you are going to this sign it is expression name by expression click here and then delete this available feature and navigate to field and values this one click random point id okay after clicking that click this string com combination continue okay sorry continue this then go to add this new line then continue again okay then type the distance Okay. after completion of typing this just come to preview there is a point zero it have this distance okay and then click okay 
after clicking OK, you can proceed with other things so as to make your label to be uh, to have a good visual. So just click this draw text above and then apply and OK. Yes, the name of each point it is already displayed with a number of points and uh, its distance from the point to the to the nearest road. We uh, you can zoom in one point to see your distance. For example, we have uh, point number three. It is eight hundred and seven. As you see, we want to approve this distance from this point up to the nearest road. So just go to the ruler sign with this measure right measure line. Click this one. Okay, after click this one, we are going to measure from here up to here to see the this this val if it is will be the same as this one. So click at the center of this point. This one and it's starting to measure up to here. So as to see, okay, yeah, it is nearest to it is nearest to this one so go directly up to here it is okay find yeah okay if we're going to find This van. Okay, approximated like this one. So uh, you can see this distance from here up to here, it is nearest to this one. So I think we have already discovered the simple way to calculate the distance from nearest object to the road. So you can use another panel, maybe the you can take a, a hybrid map and you can select any feature you want with a nearest road and to use this method so as you can determine the distance from maybe school, hospital and other buildings the to the road so as to simplify the the direct surveying to take a tape measure to measure a distance from an object up to the uh, to the road but this is a simple way by using qgis to measure our distance from a point or buildings to the road okay i think you understand about this lesson today please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for being with me until we are completions for this lesson